Arch Coal's Thunder Basin Coal Company operates Black Thunder Mine in the Powder River Basin of Wyoming, one of the largest coal mining complexes in the world. It produces coal around the clock, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, amounting to millions of tons of coal annually. Affordable, reliable, and abundant, coal continues to play an essential role in meeting the world's demand for low-cost energy. Black Thunder plays its part, shipping low-sulfur coal to power plants in 25 states, miles of rail cars, each holding 14,000 tons of coal, are filled here daily and carry the low-sulfur coal to more than 100 U.S. coal-fuel-powered plants that generate electricity to power electronic devices, heat and cool homes, and provide energy to run much of the country's manufacturing machinery. In fact, coal from Black Thunder fuels approximately 5% of the electricity generated in the United States each year. Huge drag lines with booms that stretch 360 feet and swing a bucket the size of a small house, plus massive shovels, remove most of the rock and clay overburden that that lies above coal seams with an average thickness of 77 feet. With over 120 haul trucks operating at the mine, keeping all of the mobile machinery supplied with fuel, lubricants, and electrical power in a safe and efficient manner is a constant effort. That's where the dependable fleet of ground force fuel lube and cable reel trucks play their part to dramatically reduce operating costs with fewer vehicles and operators. The ground force trucks were chosen because they offer uh, lube and fuel all in one complete package. Instead of having separate trucks for lube and fuel and, and different things like that, you've got a complete unit that'll offer everything in one shot. I supervise the maintenance on mobile equipment, currently operating 123 haul trucks, 40 some odd dozers, large number of other smaller support units to support the whole operation. Six drag lines, 22 shovels, six 789 cat trucks, 777 cat trucks equipped with the ground force lube bodies. We've got pretty good experience with the ground force trucks being able to get to locations that other pieces of equipment would not normally be able to get to, to handle rough terrain, to handle steep grades and narrow roads. That makes it easier for a ground force truck mounted on a cat, cat haul truck to get to remote locations and be able to fuel pieces of equipment anywhere on a mine site. We've got these lube bodies set up on 789 and 777 cat trucks and so those trucks have a good stance on the ground. Their, their transmissions allow them to get into places and have good ground control and their narrowness allows them to get into narrow spots, get into tight places and that's what we like about them. The ground force trucks operators feel more comfortable driving into into a place that's got a narrow road or a steep grade because they know their truck can handle it. Fuel and lube times on these is, is a lot better because you've got a huge capacity. They can fill up with fuel in the morning, get their morning run of trucks and support equipment, go back to the shop, fuel up for the afternoon, get their afternoon run and that's all they have to do. Whereas a smaller unit would be going back and forth to get fuel and lube filling up constantly. Having everything in one unit cuts down on the number of people you have around a Moving equipment dramatically cuts down on operating costs. You can just imagine what the cost would be to operate double the amount as opposed to the amount we run right now. Talking to the operators, they enjoy having everything in one shot. You've got your grease, you've got your fuel, you've got your antifreeze, it's all right there. You don't have to call somebody else to help you out. You've got all the tools at your disposal. Everything on the ground force lube body helps us out to keep the operator all on the ground level while he's operating it to keep him from having to go up and down stairs and steps. And in the winter time, that's pretty crucial. The less you have to climb up and down on everything, the better. He can access everything he needs to right from the ground level, whether it be the computer to start the flow of fluids, all the hoses, all the pumps are right there. Whatever fluid is dispensed into that unit, whether it's diesel, whether it's hydraulic oil, antifreeze, anything, is tracked and then that information goes to a central server and we can keep track of everything that's gotten fuel, lube, anything on the mine site. They provide the services to the haul trucks and the dozers and support equipment, so they've got to be just as reliable as the equipment that actually moves the dirt. Availability of these units right around the 90% range. 90% is the same level that we try to hold our haul trucks to. Technology plays a huge role. They're monitored via mine star system all the trucks on the mine are so that goes through a dispatcher and they they know where everything's at we keep track of each unit and when it gets fuel and the technology on the lube truck helps us with that we know how much fuel the units have 
when they're about going to run out and so we can schedule everything around the clock to make sure everything gets fuel, everything gets lube, and nothing gets missed. Ground Force is more user friendly as far as laying cable, picking up cable, uh, rerouting everything that we have out here. Miles of cable we have, but we have a lot of it and we move a lot every day. My best day I've ever had on it, I did 17,000 feet of cable in one day. It's a good machine. Everything's on one controller. That's a plus. It rides nice, lots of room in the cab. That's kind of a nice thing. It's got heating, air conditioning, air ride seat, tilt. You can adjust your steering wheel up and down. An automatic for transmission. It's got all wheel drive. Only when you need it, you can actually hit a button on there and it will physically lock all six wheels in. It's got a limited slip in the rear. It's very easy to operate as far as climbing in and out. I would say more friendly of a outfit to use. It only takes one man to use this ground force outfit. Speed wise, it's got two more gears from pit to pit. It's, it's plenty fast enough. The power is there, it's no comparison. This one's got way more. And as far as the hydraulic power and everything else, no comparison. Yeah, this one's way stronger. This machine has held up really good. Articulation of, of that machine is if you need to, you, when you do turn and you're laying out a cable, you can see what you're doing around the corner. You know, it'll, it'll throw that cab over there. This is a major piece of equipment here that this mine really re relies on. Without this thing, the shovels wouldn't go, drag lines wouldn't move. It's a very important piece out here. I'm a big cat fan, so just for the simple fact it's more reliable. Our relationship on the mine site with the local cat dealer Wyoming machinery is very close. As far as working with the OEM, it's been a good experience. They provide great service. The parts availability is wonderful. If we need parts, they have them there. Wyoming machinery gives a lot of support to the mine site as far as training for the operators. They get with the technicians that will be working on the unit in the maintenance shop, help them work on the unit, and it's really a side-by-side -side partnership with the dealer. We have technicians on site from Wyoming Machinery. It's a kind of a three-way partnership. Wyoming Machinery kind of gets us together with Ground Force and we tell them what we want in a unit and, and what we want to put it on, what trucks, and everybody comes together. As far as cat goes, I mean, if anything we need, we just call it up and get it. To crawl in something like this is, you know, you go from a Yugo to a Cadillac, so I don't mind that at all. Mm -hmm.